The question posed almost 50 years ago by the scientist Enrico Fermi arguably remains among the most important unanswered ones till date. In an informal conversation, Fermi asked, Where is everybody? Referring to the aliens. There are billions of stars in the galaxy that are similar to the sun and some are much, much older than the sun. If the Earth is typical, some may have developed planets like Earth and may be developing alien life. Some may have even when gone into the step of interstellar travel, a step the Earth is investigating now. But the question arises, where is everybody and why can't we see any of them? Astrophysicists and theorists have continued to debate the question, with more ideas continuously adding to the question. A few solutions are that the Earth is a relative, the Earth is an early bloomer. The relative silence of the universe might suggest that the universe hasn't had time to spawn any more habitable worlds and therefore we can't see any signs of alien life. And as Stephen Webb has pointed out, we don't know how the aliens are communi communicating with us. There's a possibility for tactile signals, particle signals, gravitational signals or something just completely beyond our imagination and understanding of physics. They can also be a kind of a great filter which is stopping the planets from evolving into advanced beings. It's not that intelligent life is rare, but it rather pops into existence for a few year, thousand years before getting wiped out for mysterious reasons. Life was formed from six basic elements found across the universe in abundance. Carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur and phosphorus. But it was difficult to synthesize water, a necessity for life. We also need an atmosphere of the correct size. If we look at our neighbors, Mars and Venus, we see that both of them had an atmosphere. But Venus had one too thick and Mars too thin. And hence, none of them were able to spawn life. So we need a Goldilocks planet. Now I'll take you back to the Goldilocks story. If we see mummy bear's porridge, it was too cold. And daddy bear's porridge was too hot. But I want you to think that had they always been like that or at some time would they be just the correct for life? If we look at this picture, it shows signs of riverbed on Mars. Scientists are surprised. It's not the most beautiful image, but it shows that the atmosphere of Mars was once thick enough to spawn life. Planets we consider uninhabitable today might house life in a few thousand years. Life was originally formed from non-life by a process called abiogenesis. The building blocks of life, amino acids, basic forms of proteins are found in comets sailing across the universe. Complex organic molecules in interstellar dust clouds and even water has been found on some planets. The ingredients are all there, we just don't know how they mix to form life. We've been searching for alien life with the help of radio telescopes like this one. An agency, SETI, a search for extraterrestrial intelligence has been continuously searching for radio waves. But still, no avail. Another idea is that we can search for alien technology. What would they build? For example, this is a hypothetical construction made by the scientist Freeman Dyson. This is a Dyson sphere. It's basically what you create around the star, sun in our case, to harvest solar energy. This would be made by type 2 civilization on the Kardashev scale. The Kardashev scale basically defines a civilization's technological advancement on basis of the energy it is able to harness. Type 1 can harness all the energy on the planet, including thermal, geothermal and even the energy of earthquakes and volcanoes. Type 2 can harvest the energy of a star. Here the Dyson sphere comes into play. And type 3 can harvest the entire energy of a galaxy. Sounds far-stretched? Maybe it is. 
but still even more levels have been defined four and five which can harvest the energy of the whole universe and the multiverse respectively for now we don't know if there's anyone out there but we should still continue our search i'm signing off for now thank you